Okay, here we go. Just get these images sorted. Right. So, let's try again. The these are images from various films that I've taken of uh, the TV screen, right? Uh, the predictive programming, the pre-advertising for the five stages of the Seattle Falls flag. It's in virtually every movie, eh? Not everyone, but most. Um, we're in stage two, phase two of the Seattle Falls flag right now, which is the fake pandemic. Stage three will be this one, 311, no doubt, November the 3rd, Seattle, submarine missile boom on the Ferris wheel location. This is Con Air. Here's the Ferris wheel location, right? Con Air, he lands, sorry, they land, they crash, and then they have this, this race on a fire truck, and they explode at this Ferris wheel location, of course. Cyrus, the virus, make, meets his demise on power cables, blackout reference, 411 reference, November the 4th. Um, here's the explosion itself with dollars going down the drain. Do you get it? I don't need to explain that, do I? Um, there's the aftermath of the Ferris wheel location in, in Las Vegas, but really it's the Seattle um, reference because, look, Fremont, look, there you go, area of Seattle called Fremont. Fremont and Coates from Street Kings. Uh, the Lost Boys, opening scene, the Ferris wheel by the sea, of course, and the Lost Boys is the 12 wild boars, the 12 monkeys, yeah, as referenced in, um, of course, 12 monkeys by Bruce Willis, and it's a hoax, it's a prank, like he said, it's a hoax, and hold on, oh, there's a, there's a nice picture there, hold on. Mocking the uh, the mockers, as they say. Right. Now, um, this is 118118 from uh, the beginning of Back to the Future. And this is it. This is the Ventura and Paradise fire in the forest, as you see, the forest fire. Okay. All pre-advertised in the, in the beginning of Back to the Future. Now, this scene is Seattle's... Um, Seattle, Toyota, you see 9-11 and 3-11, of course, 3-11 being Seattle, November the 3rd, 2020. He goes back to November the 5th, 1955. Talk about the aftermath, right? November the 3rd, the Seattle Falls flag, number 3. November the 4th, 4-11, the blackout. And now you got November the 5th. And before that, he goes to see the doc, the doctor. At the Twin Pines Mall, right? The place beyond the pines. This is the Ferris wheel location of Seattle. Boom. And then you see this. Yeah? The virus and the doc, the doctor. See? Hold on, what else? Yep. And then when it back on November the 5th, 1955, you've got the nuke reference again. Davy Crockett portable nuke. Look it up. 16 megatons. Yeah? Portable nuclear thing. Now, this in Back to the Future 1 is probably the Civil War reference, Dixieland, there. And this one, I don't know. Anyway, let's carry on. Hold on. What else have I got? As you can see, November the 5th, 1955. All, all pointing at the November 3rd, 4th, 5th period. This scene here didn't notice this before okay so you've got the enchantment beneath the sea under the sea which is a submarine reference then the girl goes by and says oh he's my dream boat and then doc stands next to a nuclear explosion photograph right there you see it right submarine nuclear explosion dream boat uh you got terrorists in this this is back to the future you got 311 again Doc Brown, Werner Von Brown, no doubt. More masks again. Back to the Future th uh, 3. The train that, that uh, explodes and crashes is 311, of course. Of course it is. There you go. 311. And here it is, going off a bridge that looks like the Golden Gate Bridge, but I no doubt it's all going to be Seattle-based. 
explosion. Yeah, see, there's Golden Gate reference there. What else? Um, right, Van Helsing. Right? He f starts with a Ferris wheel, sun disk of Ra on fire. Then it just pans straight to Notre Dame. The Notre Dame operation, of course. Can't get more clear than that. And this is the only time that Van Helsing himself is pictured in a virus mask. He turns round and he looks at Notre Dame. Here's Life Force. This film is absolutely full of it. Absolutely full of it. So you've got the virus. It's described as a disease. It's described as a virus. They say, oh, it's vampires. No, it, whenever you see a movie or TV series that is a vampire or zombie movie or series, it's always a virus movie because you get bitten and you get infected. You understand? It's just an allegory. It's just um, a little bit, little bit of embellishment. Um, and you've also got... Um, at 2222 right there as well on the, on the clock yeah january the 22nd 2020 when they launched the corona fake virus flu and of course there he is look look you can see how he's all sweating he's got a virus right fake anyway um there's the space needle in it seattle space needle there's tower bridge in it with explosions because Tower Bridge is definitely still coming. Watch 28 weeks later, it's all over it. Uh, there's the Space Needle again in the, in Life Force. Um, boom, boom. Okay, hold on. Yeah, how about that? That's um, Indiana Jones, right? Indiana Jones, Last Crusade. He gets kicked off the boat. And it's the Coronado, right? But, look, look, can you see? When it sinks, all you can see is Corona. And then it pans to, um, what's his face? Um, Harrison Ford saying, oh, there's no truth here. That's down the hall. Corona, there's no truth. And then he says, oh, forget ideas of exotic travel. Yeah, Corona. Stopping you from traveling. Martial lawing you. Here's Harrison in that scene. And here is John Reese Davis, Davidson, son of David, huh? With a corona tie in the film. Uh, this is the opening scene of End of Days with Schwarzenegger. And you see, and this is the important thing, you see, hold on. And again, can you see it? 9-11 predictive programming, of course, and 3-11 on that car there. There you go, 3-11. In end of days, 3-11. Right, what else? Oh, this bit, bit bigger. There you go, 3-11. Is there any more? Yeah, of course there is. Um, Star Trek The Final Frontier. Um opens with the line uh, when he takes off his virus mask and he says, oh, I thought arms were banned on this planet. Yeah, gun confiscation, knife confiscation. And then he go to, goes to Paradise City for the Paradise Op and then it pans to this Space Needle um, space station. It's a Space Needle again, Seattle. And I think that's it for now. I've got lots more images on a tablet and I'll show you those. Um, so, yeah. Just a few of the uh, predictive programming movies showing you the events of the five-stage combined disasters card. The Rogue Boomer next. The Rogue Submarine Missile Boom. The radiological event on the west coast of America. Probably on November the 3rd this year. I mean... 
it's definitely a best guess because it is in in so many different things and of course the the ferris movie election with um reese witherspoon sitting at the power station for the blackout going to washington and washington carver high school um seattle washington um and she says oh i was an unpopular president you know you watch the shattered union trailer and it's like you know the re-election of an unpopular president trump and washington goes boom a nuke it's very very clear and then it says the second american civil war as jericho's final line says and there is a jericho in washington that's interesting like you know these small towns like paradise no one ever knew about that town paradise that they were going to do an operation there right well there's jericho as well right in, in, in near seattle in fact it's it's near hanford don't forget that too that that they could run it on that they could still i've said that before they could still do a, a fake nuke radiological thing because the, um, the humanity bureau that's what it says it says it's, it's a power station it's hanford um, just near seattle and near this town of Jericho. Um, it would be easier and more impact, I think, if they if they did the submarine missile boom on, on Seattle itself. The fake, it'll all be fake. It'll be smoke and mirrors. They'll say it's a, a nuke, and they'll, sell, they'll say there's fallout, and there won't be. Just like in Jericho as well, there was no fallout. And in Humanity Bureau, he gets there with a Geiger counter, and there's no, there's no radi radiation. And in... Godzilla 2014 he goes to the area where there's supposed to be radiation and, and the Geiger counter reads zero it's a hoax it's fake anyway um, I will continue to look at this uh, cognitive dissonance thing why the hell people are more scared of the truth than they are of the Zionist media's lies at the moment about you know, fake corona flu pulling figures out of the air saying oh 44,000 people have died yeah nobody zero as usual it doesn't you know it doesn't matter whether they pick a figure for a fake school shooting or they pick a figure for for this fake co uh, corona flu you know, it doesn't matter it's they're just pulling figures from the air they say oh well, let's 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 write down 44 you know January the 22nd 2020 4k you know just pull a figure out of the air anyway the the public Oh boy, are they retreating. See, they're realising it. They're realising that, that, that they're under martial law. That they are being com completely controlled and restricted by a government that has complete control over them and they don't like the reality of it at all. It's scaring them. And it's scaring them so much that they are retreating into the lies. They've got two ways to go. One is into the truth. That it's that it's uh, the second phase of the Seattle false flag. That it is a false flag, or they um, can go into the into the media's lies, their non-stop lies, and they're choosing that because it's somehow to them less scary than, than the truth. <laughs>